Hi, Steve Petrato here from Horizon Hobby, and in this video, we're going to be showing you compass calibration on your 350QX3. Compass calibration is vitally important to the performance of your model and should be done before every flight. In order to do compass calibration, it's actually very easy. All we'll need to do is grab our radio and our quadcopter, do a little sequence, do, spin the model around, and, we'll, and it's all done. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and fire up our radio, DX4 radio. This is our stock radio. Make sure your flight mode switches and all your switches are in the up position. And then we're going to go ahead and turn the model on. I've got a battery charged up and put in there already. Let that boot up. Now the model is on. What we're going to need to do for compass calibration is, of course, be outside away from any metallic objects such as transformers or being in a parking lot with rebar. Get out into a field where there's no metal objects around. Now, if you need to do compass calibration, uh, it's likely because your model was stored near a metallic object, some magnets or something, or just for regular maintenance. Again, every flight, this is great to do it for, or if you move drastically location for, from a geographical standpoint, if you move from one state to another or one side of the country to another, it's important to do compass calibration. First, we're going to remove, since we're using the AP combo here, we're going to remove the gimbal. It's actually pretty simple to do. I'm going to go ahead and fold my mast. I'm going to turn it upside down here. Pull the plug for the gimbal. That's going to kill your power and your signal. Then we're going to hit the push button up front here and just slide the gimbal forward. Super easy to do. Set our gimbal aside. So now we just have the basic 350QX3 with the extended landing gear. Go ahead and set that down. And now I'm going to grab my radio and we're going to just toggle the flight mode switch about four times. I think it's four times exactly and that will go into compass calibration. We're going to go ahead and see this green blinking light turn into an orange or a yellow blinking light. Here we go. One, two, three, four. It's going to bleep about four times. It's going to blink into an orange light. Now, it's blinking slowly, meaning it's about ready to start compass calibration. That's going to give me time to pick the model up and go over here. Now it begins to go into a fast blinking mode. Now we need to rotate the model. So it's facing north, and it has to be facing north. We're going to pretend this wall is north. We're going to rotate the model forward once. Then we're going to turn this motor pod to the north. Rotate the model again. Then we're going to rotate the side of the quad north. Rotate the model again. Then one last time, rear motor pod to the north and rotate it one more time, ending with that motor pod, of course, facing north. Once we're done, the model will give you a green light. You have about 60 seconds there. I took a little longer, so it actually finished right in time. The model will go back into a boot sequence. We'll set that down because it won't boot otherwise. And there we go. Once the compass calibration is complete, the model will make an ascending tone or a happy tone, that telling you that you did it correctly. And then you will notice that it flies much better in the air. Of course, if you don't have any compass issues, you won't notice a difference. It's just you're going to be rest assured that it will be working properly. Uh, if you do this incorrectly, the model will give you a negative tone or sad tone or a descending tone. Uh, the way we, we can tell that is I'll go ahead and throw it into co the compass calibration again, do it completely incorrectly just to show you the, what happens here. So again, we're going to toggle the flight mode switch four times. One, two, three, four. It's going to go into compass calibration. Again, I have about five to ten seconds here to pick the model up and get ready. And all I'm going to do this time is just not do the compass calibration correctly. So I'm just going to move it here. This is if you completely forget how to do it or do it wrong. All we're going to do is just kind of rotate the model around. And I'm going to get it to fail here pretty shortly. So right now it's telling me I did my compass calibration incorrectly. In order to get out of this, we have to reboot the model and start over. So we'll go ahead and turn it off. And we can turn it back on. So now that we've showed you how to do compass calibration, uh, it's vitally important to the performance of your model. So make sure you do it every flight and every time that you move great distances with your 350QX. I hope this video has been very helpful for you, and I hope it keeps your 350QX flying great. Thanks, guys.